Buff Bunny's launching something very mysterious. August 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What could it be? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at their Instagram, shall we? So here's what Buff Bunny says about the collection. It's called Secrets in the Sand. Inspired by the beauty of ancient Egypt, this collection has an enchanting, mysterious feel. When designing this collection, we looked at the flowing fabrics, the soft neutrals of the desert sand, and the rich jeweled toned colors to create looks that will unveil your timeless style. These pieces will unlock your immortal side with alluring new styles, prints, and colorways, combined with new takes on customer favorites. Secrets in the same. There's a lot of S's you're gonna hear in today's video. Sexy, seductive, sensual, secrets, and sand. So get ready for some alliteration. Before we get into some really beautiful styles and prints, I have some really exciting news. I had a feeling that Buff Bunny was gonna hop on this. Do you remember a couple months back when Alpha Elite turned their support codes into 10% off discount codes? Something told me that if Alpha Elite was doing it, it would be sooner than later that Buff Bunny was gonna do the same. My code Gata now gives you 10% off any and all Buff Bunny purchases. This not only gives you guys incentive to use support codes because it now gives you a discount, but it also helps to support our channel as well, as you guys know. I really do appreciate it too. So always be sure to let me know whether it's writing a comment, DMing me on Instagram, however you wanna to talk to me. And with that being said, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this every single week. Now guys, I only have three sets to share with you in today's video. However, let's take a look at what they're offering for this launch, it is insane. When I was looking at the brief, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw Secrets in the Sand, I was a little confused. I was like, well, maybe I'll do a photo shoot for them, like at the Jersey Shore. This is like desert kind of vibe, and I, I don't live near a desert, so I couldn't do that. We have a lot of glitters, a lot of golds. The bossy prints kind of took over this collection along with some snake skin. We have the legacy legging, which is my favorite. Monarch, Rosa. You have Siren Shorts, Rosa Short, Material Girl, which I got. I finally got a Material Girl legging. They're ribbed and they are beautiful. The Sphinx Ribbed Sports Bra. This is the one I'm wearing right now. If there's anything that I'm gonna say in this collection you guys gotta grab, it's the sports bras. They came out with new ones that just, they're so beautiful. I look, like what the? Since when? There's a new crystal crop V2. I mean, there's a lot of new things they added along with the Odyssey maxi dress, revolution dress. I see them getting more into active dresses. Two thumbs up, I'm all about that. Some tank tops, some twist headbands. I got one right now. So let's start with my favorite out of the bunch that I'm wearing right now, the grounded dark olive color. We have the Sphinx sports bra with the material, with the material girl leggings, yeah. I love this color so much that I actually grabbed their iris tank top. This is their V2. I wanted a full complete outfit for the fall time. I wanted to throw on a full matching set, throw the tank over and not think twice about it. So typically when I film YouTube videos, I wear sweatpants when I'm talking and sitting like I am right now. But I'm actually wearing the material girl ribbed leggings and I don't feel like I need to wear sweats. They're that comfortable. They're very, very stretchy. They don't feel super compressive like normal waistbands. So I actually forgot that I was wearing leggings. There's a couple things I wanna acknowledge before we jump into this. Number one, I love how Buff Bunny always comes out with really creative and unique themes. It makes my job 10 times more fun talking about the pieces and they're really good at what they do. Between the Sugar Rush, that 70s collection, now we got Secrets in the Sand, I love it, keep doing it. Number two, can we just take a moment to give a round of applause to Bay for putting together this beautiful Secrets in the Sand sign? He did such a good job. I mean, what a content creator. Yeah, this is without a doubt my favorite. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that right here right now. This is so comfortable, never something I would wear in the gym. <laughs> I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Nothing new there. I don't work out in Buff Bunny's pieces. I just don't. They're, they're for specific things, like going out and athleisure. I don't actually wanna break a sweat and work out in these babies. <laughs> Granted, you could, but this is not my preference to wear to the gym. Starting with a sports bra, I mean, I think this is 
one of the sexiest sports bras I've ever seen. Look at that, I mean, it's straight cleavage. You can even wear it as a crop top for the summer, nice high-waisted shorts or whatever, skirt. This is such a well-constructed piece. I feel like the seams, the placement of the seams just works so flawlessly. I really love the big, thick, chunky straps. Nothing's digging into my skin. There's no adjustments, but you do have removable bra pads. My small is okay, but I definitely think I should have sized down, especially because of this area. I don't really have the biggest so with that being said, I were to even go like that, I feel like a little slippage could happen. If you're at the right angle, you're gonna see a little something going on down there. A little nip slip. If you're blessed with the breast, then I would say stick to your true size. But if you're like me, I got 34 Bs trying to rock and roll in this thing, I think sizing down would have been my best bet. But Bunny's tops do run big for the most part, am I right? What really stood out to me was that geometric look, the design, the seam contouring just works with every single aspect of this. And it's form fitted in just the right ways. No weird unflattering cinching going on. I mean, that's why I like their tops. They never ever dig. Same with Alpha Lee, they never dig. So the leggings are a little less elaborate, but that's okay. I actually really love this whole monotone look, very low key, like you're not really trying that hard. Especially given the rib, it gives more of an athleisure feel, that's how I feel. It is very, very, very soft. What a cozy set to wear during the fall, which is why I grabbed the tank to go over it. Now I have a pair of the Material Girl biker shorts that I have from last year. I remember from them that I should have sized down. I have to say with these leggings though, I don't know if they've made some minor improvements, but there's less bagginess going on right at the groin area. So I'm pretty sure over time they made these more true to size. Cause this is definitely different from the biker shorts that I have. I'm wearing a small and if you're in between, I would say size down because they're that stretchy. These are, these are very, very comfortable. If you look closely in the front, there is a V seam. So the seam doesn't go straight across. There's a slight V shape to it. And if you look closely, they do the same thing in the back. This one's a very sharp V just to accentuate the glutes. V seams can be very tricky. If not placed properly, it could actually shrink the glutes and do opposite of what it's meant to do. With Buff Bunny, I do notice that they place their seams fairly high so that it never shrinks the glutes. Your glutes have enough space to actually move around and the contour works for them. Only issue that I'm finding with these leggings might be the dreaded CT. It's not all the time. Certain angles, I'll see it more than others, but I think it's that sensitive material right underneath in that gusset, that little pouchy area. It just rides on up and you can see it. I never really have an issue with Buff Bunny's sheerness. And without a doubt, these are 100% squat proof. I'm not seeing anything. This is a thick rib, so I'm not surprised but check out how it looks as one full matching set. I think I'm gonna start doing this from now on, you guys. Grab the matching tank so you can wear it as a full set. You don't have to wear it as such a revealing set if you don't want to. I know throwing this over is gonna make my life easier because I don't have to find anything to match. You guys watch my channel, you know I am a mix and match bitch. I live for it, but sometimes, some days I'm lazy. We all are. Sometimes I just wanna throw something on that I know goes. I wanna put two thoughts into it. The front of this is super plain, very oversized. You could size down, but I'm wearing a small. I like the oversized fit. It's the backing. They do that with their tank tops. They'll say, oh yeah, you want a basic from front? No problem. When you turn around though, whew, that's when it hits you in the face. You're like, wait, what am I looking at? Oh my God. So yeah, you got a nice crisscross backing. It goes right up in the back, so you will see your booty. This tank is designed in such a way where you can actually still see the emblem on the leggings and the bra right underneath the tank. It's in full display. So they actually think things through. I noticed that Buff Bunny does that, even with seam placement and things like that. They're always thinking about every little intricate detail. So I actually grabbed a bossy print set. I do like Buff Bunny's bossy print, but sometimes I do feel like it's a little bit over the top and not quite something I would vibe with. The heavy contrast ones are the kind where I'm just like, man, that's a little too much in your face and it kind of hurts my eyes. But this set, oh, it's like a barely there bossy print. We have the Rosa sports bra and the Rosa legging in the beige gold bossy print. Now I know that this is made of their new Bray fabric, but just from feeling it, I thought it was just more of a plasticky feel than anything because the metallic bossy print threw me off. It totally changes that new Bray texture. Now I know new Bray from a mile away. I love it, it's my favorite. It's actually the lining where you can really feel that new Bray. So they 
kept the integrity of that material going on on the inside. Same with the legging, right where it matters, where it's going right up against your skin. So it's very soft on the inside. But with that being said, because it's more of a metallic-y print on the outside, it does impact the stretch. It's not as stretchy. So let's go ahead and see just how much stretch we got in this bish. Now this set absolutely makes me feel like a boss. It's that tonal glitz we're looking at. I just made that up, but it sounds like it's fitting, right? It's tonal, it's glitzy, glammy. You get it, right? I actually got a DM asking if I could compare this bossy print to the newer Hazelnut Amplify. So here I have the Amplify shorts, hazelnut color. Here's a comparison. If you look closely, the hazelnut shorts have more of a yellowish nude tone to it, where the beige gold bossy print has more of a slight blushy nude color to it. Especially because if you look extra closely to the details of the bossy print, that metallic print is actually like a rose gold color. So it's very, very beautiful, but there are some major differences between the hazelnut and the bossy print color. Let's talk about the sports bra real quick. We already know Buff Bunny's got that thick front going on. Their sports bras are so thick, like massive. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's always a lot of coverage for the most part and a lot of material. I would say this is fairly true to size if in between, yeah, size down again, just because you don't want that extra bagginess going on right here. Luckily, I'm not seeing it on me and my true small, but it could happen, especially if you decide to size up. Again, no adjustments. I think that's what makes their sports bras a little bit tricky is you don't have actual adjustments on a lot of them. Not all of them, as you'll see in a second. You still have the removable bra pads, but this is a little less cleavagey <laughs> than the other sports bras in today's video. As you can see, it's a little more modest. I'd still give it an overall moderate compression though. A little more support than the other ones where your boobie might fall out. This here looks like a thick band, but it's not. It's actually just material. Just wanted to point that out so you don't think there's a real thick elastic band going on here. Let me go ahead and see if I could take this material and just tuck it on up and make more of a high cut sports bra. Just in case. Just in case you don't want that rib cage covered. How's that look? I think I like it a little bit more. Versatility at its finest, am I right? Because it's just a flap of material, it actually folds up really nicely. What's really cool about this design is depending on the lighting that's hitting you, some spots look really light, then others look really dark and shadowed. So it's never fully consistent. It's all about lighting. Your set could look really light in some areas and then just dark. Let's talk the leggings. Now, Newberry leggings, I love them. The Legacy are my favorite. The Rosa Pocket, favorite. But in these particular leggings with the bossy print, you feel that little bit of restriction because of this heavy print going on throughout the entire piece. So with that being said, I feel a little bit of snugness. I feel like the material doesn't quite hug the glutes like they normally would. It's not horrible, but I do feel it. Like around the kneecaps a little bit, there's a little bit of snugness. I think it's still true to size. If you're in between sizes, I would say if you prefer more compression around the legs, size down. If you do not like any snugness, you want your glutes to really breathe, you could size up. And that's only if you're in between. Because right now I'm gonna stick with my true size small. Just be careful if you wanna size up, you want that extra room. This is the type of material that will wrinkle. I just know it. Like you can see it when I bend. There's a lot of wrinkling going on here. It is from that metallic print, I'm telling you. Take a look at the lack of stretch going on here. Keep that in mind when you decide on your sizing. The band is a little more stretchy though. There's a little more give right around here. Not so much around the legs. I'm not really feeling a whole ton of ventilation going on here, but that's to be expected given that plasticky feel that they have. I will give it to them though with how light of a legging this is, really squat proof. So on this particular set, it's actually a printed logo. No emblem, no embroidered logo, it's printed. I'm not in love with that because I can already see where the logo starting to lift ever so slightly. Now with this much pattern, I, would, I don't wanna see that. I wanna see an embroidered logo on the back. That goes for the sports bra and the leggings. 
But other than that, a really fun, funky set. Something I would totally dress up. Wear a cardigan, a jacket with some funky looking sneakers. Honestly, even heels if you wanna dress this up. Not something I would wear to a gym though, but that's just me. So the last set we're gonna be talking about is the Legacy Legging V2 in the Cobra print. This is Black Cobra. I actually paired it with the Harmony Halter sports bra in white. You guys might remember this from my camo video. I teased this a little bit in that video. What well, we're gonna talk about it today. There's some pros and cons, so stay tuned for that. Let's take a second to look at this cobra print. It's so minuscule. From far away, you would never know that it's snake print. I actually specifically requested these leggings for fall because I wanted something that looked like faux leather. This looks so chic, so stylish, and still sexy. I know I'm thinking ahead because there's absolutely no chance in actual hell that I would wear this in the summertime, but my mind's always thinking towards the next season. And I mean, if this is not October, I don't know what is. And if you guys know me, the Legacy is actually one of my favorite Buff Bunny leggings because I like the tri-seam in the back. It just really emphasizes the glutes and it looks really sexy. This is made out of their nylon and lycra material, so it feels really slippery. I mean, just from the look of it, you could tell this has that real slippery feel. So we're mixing and matching a little bit here. This halter sports bra is kind of like the candy wrap sports bra in terms of the adjustments. If you look on the back, you actually do have an adjustable sports bra. This is definitely more heavy duty than the other two that you've seen in today's video. This is actually a pretty bulky sports bra. I think given the adjustments and the fact that this particular bra actually comes with a bra extender, keep that in mind, my big breasted girls, you're in luck with this one. Not only is it sexy as hell, but it's really good for bigger breasts. Like in fact, I think with my small breasts, it almost looks a little bit funny on me. <laughs> looks a little too bulky. Like there's not enough for me to fill this out really. I don't care, I'm still rock it, like whatever. But you don't even see my cleavage from the side or the front. This keyhole leads to nothing. You pretty much see my sternum and that's it. Where are my breasts? Come on, work with me. I'm 33 years old, where are they? They never hatched. Now me shifting around the bra, this is how in a perfect world, this is how the bra would look on me. Anyway, I really like the halter style that they went with. Again, just like their other bras, very, very comfortable. They're coming in other colors. I wanted the white to go with everything that I have. So even mixing the white bra with that gold bossy print, I thought it would look really chic. You do have removable bra pads and I really have to applaud them for their seams going all the way up and not stopping halfway through. Right here, you know how a lot of brands will just stop right at your nipples and it looks like your nipples are hard as rocks. But I love that they just went all the way through so you know and everybody else in the world knows that's a seam, not your nipple. Even though this is adjustable, me personally, if I could do it all over again, I would size down to an extra small. But let's talk these leggings. Oh, I love them so much. They're exactly what I hoped they would be. I love a faux leather. The Cobra print actually looks like worn cracked leather, like a little vintage. Ooh, this is spicing it up big time. I actually really love the fact that the seams are a very matte black, and then you got the chic shine of the actual print. It's just, it's just a really beautiful look. It is so comfortable. Now, could you imagine if us gals didn't have leggings like this and we had to actually wear leather leggings, like real leather pants? I wouldn't do it. My shit would get chafed so fast. That's one surefire way to make sure I never wear leather. But Buff Bunny's got the leather game strong. Remember the jackets that came out for Mad Scientist? I still got that. It's in my fall gear, waiting to come back out. And I just might pair them with these if I'm feeling real badass one day. Length is really good on all the leggings. It's doing it for me. Again, no high compression whatsoever, just moderate. But the stretch is real and right where it counts, right around the glutes, I'm feeling a good amount of stretch. That's all I could ask for. If you're in between, I would say maybe size down to avoid some wrinkling. Because just like the gold bossy print, you run that risk. But I do have to say, this compared to the gold bossy print, there's way more stretch in this legging than the new Bray Gold beige bossy print. <laughs> right around the kneecaps is where I'm feeling a lot of let up. Okay, that beige gold bossy print, I felt snugness right here, and I don't feel that with this. So I actually prefer these a little bit more. Now granted, this is not a workout legging for me. It's gonna trap some heat. This is why it's my fall legging. This is my going to a haunted house legging. Okay, so what are our thoughts on the new Buff Bunny? Secrets in the sand. 
For me, it's another collection, another hit. I think they did a stellar job on the whole theme. It's one of those transitional collections that I feel can be worn towards the end of summer and even early fall. I have been saying this for years and I still stand by it. Buff Bunny is my fashion brand. It is my athleisure. It's what I like to dress up or dress down. It's my comfort when I'm just going to the grocery store, just going out, hanging out with friends or family. Alpha Elite, great for the gym, my amplifies all day. But when it comes to Buff Bunny, that is just my everyday wear. And I think they did a really great job on this. They maintain the quality. Their standards are always up to here, right where mine are. So big shout out to them. Shout out to Heidi. This collection's really dope and beautiful. I hope you found this review helpful and keep in mind there's gonna be a lot more than what I showed in today's video. So do not get it twisted. Buff Bunny goes ham. There's gonna be a lot of pieces launching, a lot of styles. And again, thank you so much if you use my discount code GATA at checkout. Please let me know if you do. Stay tuned for Instagram. I have a giveaway on there. You don't wanna miss out on that Buff Bunny giveaway just in time to shop the Secrets in the Sand collection. So if you stay till the end, that's a little secret just between. Thank you guys for being here. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.